Hey, what's going on? I'm Lord Bonnie, and I'm here to check out the Power Patch. So it's already been released. Um, I gotta see if I notice the changes when I play Power World again. But let's go over what they decide to fix. So fix the issue where the game would crash under certain conditions. Okay, that's what, wherever. Fix the issue where if players, if another player's power base power had 30 HP or less, could be catched by using the fear. So there's a lot of Shenanigans, I guess, happening in multiplayer. Fix the issue where empty piles would get stuck in walls due to charge attacks. Okay, implement the first fix for an issue where the game would always crash and save data would be corrupted when the guild's total number of piles captured reach around 7,000. That's insane. <clears throat> no way someone's doing that, like, legit. That is literally insane. 7,000? There's no way. If there is, I would like to see a video on it, but I, I highly doubt it. So there's probably some kind of shenanigans happening there. The game no longer crashes if the total capture objects exceed 7,000. Okay, however, save data that already have been in this state. Prior to this, that they would be unable to load. Okay. Key configuration. Added support for mouse side keys and nor keypad and keyboard key config. Also oh, further customization, that's nice. Further improvements are currently planned, such as support for uh, interact key configuration. Players and issues where players had on dedicated servers and co-op online were receiving damage twice. That's crazy. Specifications have been changed so that you can move extremely at low speed even when you have exceeded the weight limit. Okay, that's nice. So you're just not stuck. That's just a nice uh, quality of life. Person no longer pass through walls when dismounting. Oh, uh, I never, I didn't run into that. Fix the issue where captured, powerful strengthened by Limok effigies were reset when using memory reset drugs. What? <laughs> that's crazy. Fix the issue where armor could be equipped in the wrong slot. <laughs> that's hilarious. Just the camera positions of several pals to make it easier to see when mounted. That's nice. Because I did have that issue. With the green looking bear guy, that was, that was, uh, uh, I noticed that. So that's a nice change, man. That's a nice change. Basis use. Specifications have been changed so that pals who are mainly assigned to a breeding farm will not become hungry and their manual assignments will not be removed. That's good. I like that. That's a nice change. The key to lift pals have been changed from F. Yeah. So I have noticed that. I noticed that in order to prevent accidents. Okay. Reduce the speed and range of fire spreading uh, wooden buildings. Uh -huh. You wood builders, just build stone. Fix the issue where manual work assignments could not be set at all under certain circumstances. Yeah, that was exhausting. So I gotta see if that's if that holds true. I gotta try that out. Fix the issue where extremely high level Vaxelsaurus would attack the base during raids. What? I never run into that, but it sucks. I know how that feels. Getting your base is destroyed. I I hope <clears throat> just to cover this real quick. I hope during the raids they will implement some kind of defense like torrents, and you don't need to put a pal. Like maybe have the humans do that, right? Where they don't cost a pal slot. Like you could, because uh, I know they have a a torrent cr a crossbow, but you need to put a pal. So you're sacrificing you know, resource gathering or some sense of gathering resource for um, defense. I wish that would be separate, like add that on top to the mechanics of the game, like have it where if you catch a humans, they can be used and they don't cost a power slot. Maybe there's a human slot and you could use them to defend your base because it's like granted you could catch your pals at higher levels but when you're low level it's really uh annoying to get raided and raids they're if you're unlucky they're like your level or a little bit higher and then you just get steamrolled added several measures to prevent base pals from getting stuck okay to fix the issue with where pals would get stuck while transporting irons it would drop down the spot <laughs> thank god that's fixed i don't think i run ran into that problem Fix the issue where the pals were on the verge of death, dude. Yeah. Had that happen a few times. That wasn't cool. Fix the issue where pals at the base would float under some conditions. That's just probably funny. 
Well, funny at first and then after a while, it's probably annoying. Fix the issue where if a farm was built on the second floor above, work pals would be unable to move. Yeah, I'm so happy they fixed this because I was trying to be clever with my uh, my space and they wouldn't literally, they wouldn't go to the second floor. So I was like, man, the AI is super dumb on them. But how efficient would it be? That's what I'm wondering. Okay, other corrected incorrect text. So this is just random stuff. Merchants have been added to prevent cheating and staying on the people players' pals. Why do people cheat, man? What's the fun of fun of cheating? I don't get it. Being the minor fixes such as the addition of a UI key guide. Okay. We will continue development, placing top priority and fixing major problems and issues. That's nice. Thank you for your continued support of power, of course. Now there's not much to talk on, like pretty basic patch. Now what I would like to discuss is more like what I would like to see in the game. So like, for example, I would like to see what I just mentioned about the bases, maybe have some base defense. So like tower defense in a way, either you could tie that in with the humans or tie it in where, um, you have to like give up a pal completely so that they're part of this turret or just something for your base defense. If they're going to keep raids, like if they're going to have raids, I think it's a good, you know, but mechanics like a surprise, right? It's like one of those like world events, but it's just happening to you. I think that's nice. I think it keeps the um the game fresh and not stale because you're not just like, oh, let me go to base to base to base, hop, 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 and just collect my stuff. It makes you have to like stop and like deal with the situation. So I like that. And I would also like to see more um improvements on you as the player when you're fighting. Like your pals do all the damage and it kind of feels like you're just there and you're just poking like it doesn't really feel like you're doing much and this feels bad like i was thinking they could add some kind of weapons where you could either stun but maybe not for long because you don't want that to uh to be uh abused and then maybe more ailments now i know we have the fire crossbow and the poison bow and i and that is just side note real quick the poison bow i ran into this bug i don't know if you guys have but let me know in the comments below that I can't repair it for some reason. So I got to check if that's fixed. Anyhow, I would like to have more elements or just something like in the, in that realm, or maybe uh, you and the pal. Well, they already have that where pals have certain, certain uh, abilities are the, you and the pal are kind of working together. Um, so this more player stuff. So that was the, that's only two, ones I could think of that wouldn't really break the game or change it in, in a way that what it is now. And uh, I guess also more ways to like catch your pals efficiently. It feels like you have to always go above them. Like there's no way to, oh, well, there's some ways I'm not, let me not be uh, spreading misinformation. There's some ways it's just, it, well, the, the easiest way is to use your pal and then use the good skills that stun them and things like that. So I guess I'll take that back. Scratch that. So I guess that's it. That's all I really want to see because I haven't even reached endgame, so I don't know the issues with endgame. They already are uh, addressing the pal's uh, path movement, so that's really the huge issue I have with the game. Things I would like to see, I could say that. At least I would like to see future content like maybe world events, maybe more community events where like you're part of your own world, but you could join, everyone could join a server and like fight, you know, a big boss or go through a dungeon. Maybe you could do that with your friends, things like that, like a bigger uh, scenarios of what you already have, because you already have the tower bosses. So just expand that, make it like you like an MMO where you're fighting trash mobs and then you get to the boss. So that would be cool. And then the same thing with dungeons, like have dungeons feel more special. Dungeons right now, they don't really feel special. It's claims there's like special items, special pals and things of that nature, but it's really not. Once you do a few dungeons, even from the low level to the high level, there's barely any difference. It's just like the layouts might be a bit different. And that's another thing. Some of the layouts are, are repetitive. Oh no, they did say it's static, didn't it? So yeah, so that makes sense. Okay, so I'll take that back too. But yeah, I would like to see things of that nature. I know they're doing PvP. I hope they don't focus too much on PvP because that could take out take up a lot of development time. But anyhow, I don't want 
to just rent on and keep going. So those are things I would like to see. Let me know in the comments below what you guys would like to see and what you're interested in seeing. Now, I've been Lord Bonnie. I'll catch you in the next one.